Now here you see, it takes all the running you can do to keep in the same place. If you want to get somewhere else, you must run at least twice as fast as that. Lewis Carroll The Red Queen effect plays perfectly into the subject of evolution. This hypothesis, developed by Lee Van Valen, is widely used to explain the process of coevolution and advantages of sexual reproduction. Coevolution. Opposing species that exist in the same habitats must evolve at the same rate in order to maintain competition. If the prey begins to evolve faster, so must the predator. This cycle repeats until it reaches the point at which a species can no longer keep up with its opponent. Thus, the rate of extinction is constant over millions of years. The graph for the Red Queen effect reflects the process of coevolution between species through continuous oscillations. In this example, the red line represents the Red Queen, and that blue line represents Alice. Oscillations on the graph show how species must continuously evolve and always catch up to each other when facing competition. Let's say Alice is trying to run or catch up to the Red Queen to try and survive in Wonderland. If the Red Queen is running one way, then Alice must run at the same rate to catch up with her. If they both run at the same rate, in the end they always find each other, so no matter what direction they take. However, if Alice stops running and decides to stay in the same place, the Red Queen can outcompete her and send orders to off with her head, and boom, Alice will go extinct. There are many different examples to explain this process. Let's look at size, for example. In Alice in Wonderland, Alice takes a potion labeled Drink Me in order to shrink to fit through the door to get into the garden. If she's too big, she can't pass through the door. If she's too small, she can't get the key to open the door. Therefore, throughout the book, she has to constantly change sizes in order to overcome all the challenges presented to her. This shows how species must continuously adapt in order to survive and find advantageous pathways in their environment. If a species can't adapt to a certain environmental circumstance, be it competition with another species or any type of strain on the organism, they will go extinct. If another creature in Wonderland could change size faster than Alice, it could outcompete her and lead to her demise. The outcompeting of one species due to a more efficient adaptation is what is referred to as the law of extinction. The advantage of sexual reproduction and adaptation slash resistance. Through coevolution, this is an oscillation of genotype frequencies. If a species sexually reproduces with random partners, the probability of greater variability within a population is much higher than populations of organisms who reproduce asexually. Asexual reproductions result in offspring that are genetically identical to their parents, while sexual reproduction mixes genes between two parental organisms to create a genetically unique organism. In circumstances where variability is beneficial, sexual reproduction can increase the chances of survival greatly. Let us contrast sexual versus asexual reproduction in terms of the chances of survival of caterpillars on a toxic mushroom. In nature, certain plants produce natural toxins to kill parasites living on them. If a mushroom with a population asexually reproducing caterpillar smoking some hookah on top produces a toxin to kill the caterpillars off, no matter how much these caterpillars reproduce, their offspring will be genetically identical to each other and will all be killed by the mushroom toxin. However, if the population of caterpillars were to sexually reproduce, there would be a genetic input from two different individuals with different genetic makeups that, during meiosis, would recombine and result in yet another completely different genotype. Through this genetic recombination, a variable genotype with different responses to different environmental pressures can result, including development of resistance to the mushroom toxin. These resistant offspring would thus survive and carry on the genes to the next generation, allowing the formation of a toxin-resistant caterpillar population who can keep on smoking on the mushroom. This example shows how sexual reproduction contributes to the Red Queen effect. Since sexual reproduction results in a greater ability for adaptation on behalf of the caterpillars, the mushroom can keep on producing toxins, but the caterpillars will continue developing resistance to the toxins at the same rate, resulting in once again the coevolution of the two species.